This video is for educational purposes only. Only test your own hardware. Doing otherwise is illegal. Don't be a skid. Ooh, free Wi Fi. What's going on you guys? It is the Talking Sasquatch and it's great to have you back. In the past, I've made a few videos on credential stealing, uh, doing it through either phishing, discord scams where you social engineer people, but this is a new method and it's using the flipper and it's really freaking cool. This method's brought to you by Big Bro Dude 6119 and it is called the Flipper Zero Evil Portal. What this allows us to do is actually take the official Wi-Fi dev board and use that to create a fake wireless access point that pulls up what looks to be a Google login page. As soon as you connect to the access point, it'll bring you to a login page and ask you to enter your credentials. Well, you know what happens then. As soon as you enter your creds in there, they get recorded onto the flipper and then the hacker has them to do whatever they want with them. Now, I had heard other hackers like Ryan Montgomery or Zero Day mention being able to do this with a flipper, but I had never seen it implemented, so seeing it come out now, I'm super psyched. Now, this only came out a couple of days ago, so this is brand new, so I actually get to show you a bunch of really cool stuff in the process of just making this whole thing work. So without any more intro, this one's going to be fun. Let's get at it. All right, so as usual, I'm gonna be using my Flipper Zero running Rogue Master. I do always have my custom animations put on here just because I like them. And then we're gonna use the official Wi-Fi dev board. This is mine. It's got the um, Marauder logo case that I got from Just Call Me Coco. Now, as I said before, this is a brand new project. It's only been out for a few days and it's not on any of the firmwares. It wasn't even on flipc.org until I added it. So I'm going to show you how to take a GitHub repository, add it to flipc and get it to compile for whatever firmware. Because with the time that I started this, it was only available for Unleashed and Official. So let's check this out. All right, so we're in our desktop here and we can just go ahead and open up our browser. And this is Big Bro Dude 6119's uh, GitHub repository. And from here, we actually have the instructions that we'll be going over as far as the installation goes. And we have all of our files for the flipper. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is actually find the application.fam file. Um, that's gonna be located in flipper. And then this is in flipper evil portal. So we found the application.fam and the rest of the files. This is the directory that we need in order to actually compile the firmware. So we'll go ahead and just copy the URL here and go to flipc.org. We're gonna go up to the builds tab and then we're just gonna paste that right here. Um, you don't need a branch or root or any of that stuff. And we're gonna switch the official, the official, the firmware to rogue master release and click let's fap. Now keep in mind, you do need to have the latest version of whatever firmware you're making the application for because Flip C is going to be using the latest version of the firmware in order to compile it. So now that we have Rogue Master firmware on there, we can click install. So I have my flipper just plugged in. Make sure you don't have QFlipper open. If QFlipper is open, it's gonna run into a problem. So we can just click install and boom installed correctly i can even click run and it will start the program right inside of my flipper now actually this program's a little weird i'm not sure why but when you click uh run on flipper it actually just opens the browser so don't don't worry if that happens to you it's not a big deal so just to confirm everything's happy i'm gonna open q flipper do 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 all right cool and then make this big and we're just gonna go ahead and load the program to make sure it installed properly and then we don't get some sort of weird API mismatch. So let's go here. Here we go, ESP32 Evil Portal. The fact that it doesn't have a question mark as an icon is really good. And yeah, cool. Looks like the application's working properly. So now we can move on to the next step. So for our next step, we're gonna actually just go ahead and download this zip file right here. So this is the whole uh, project. Drop this into our desktop. And then we'll just extract that always pops up in the wrong monitor extract all we're just going to drop them over the desktop easy peasy close the zip file 
and then we're going to go into flipper and then this apps data folder we need so what we're going to do is we're going to go back and then just go into our folders sd card and then we need to drag the contents of apps data which is the evil portal folder into our apps data so all we'll do is move this over done now the contents of this folder are two files so we have apconfig.txt so if we open this up this is just the name of the Wi-Fi that it's going to show up. This is the access point name. You can change this to whatever you want. Just don't use like exclamation points or anything like that. It'll make it crash. I know I tried. So we're going to leave this like this for now. We can close that. Don't save it. I can whoop, get out of here. The next file is index.html, and it just shows you what the login screen is going to look like. You can change this if you want to, but you really don't have to. Um, but yeah, that's basically the uh, extent of all that. And then one more thing you need to do is inside this, you're just going to go to a new folder and make it logs. It doesn't have that automatically, but it needs that folder in order to create logs. All right. Now with that done, all we're going to have to do is install the correct firmware onto the Wi-Fi dev board and we'll be in business. Go ahead and close QFlipper. We'll go back here and go back here and then we can follow what we're doing from here. So yeah, we're going to first of all hook up our Wi-Fi dev board to our computer and as usual, I'll show you how. All right, it's super easy, but I explain every single video because people forget to do this. So there are two buttons on here on this guy. I know it's covered so you can't see, but it actually says boot underneath the case. But if you hold this button down, so this guy right here, that's the one I'm clicking, hold it down and then plug it in. And you're going to keep holding it down for about five seconds. Keep holding, keep holding, keep holding. That's going to drop it into uh, DFU mode, which will allow you to update firmware to it. If you don't do that, it might not work. And there's a lot of questions about this. So moving on. One quick thing you will need to do if you have Marauder or any other firmware, including Blackmagic installed into your card, that's what it comes with you know, natively, is we're going to have to delete the firmware. So we've got a nice little guide right here. So first of all, we'll do this command. So we're just gonna run the commands in order. It's super easy. PowerShell. So we'll just do that. That ran no problem. We're gonna run number two, which is just the install of these tools, setup tools. There we go. And then we're gonna run the uh, ESP tool chip erase tool. Right click on that. And it's gonna take a little while and it's just gonna go ahead and erase our current firmware from our Wi-Fi dev board. All right, we're done and we can move on. Quick note, as soon as that's done, you're just going to want to reset the board or reconnect the board. Unplug it, hold boot, plug it back in, and you'll be good to go. All right, so from here, we're going to open up the uh, INO sketch. So we're going to open this up, flip over zero, and this is going to be it's ESP32, and then open this up. So this is going to open up uh, Arduino IDE. You will have to download this on your own. It's openly, readily available. So this is the actual, whoop, later, this is the actual kind of application that's going to be run. And we're going to install this using Arduino IDE onto the Wi-Fi dev board. Now there are some libraries that we'll need. So we need this one and this one. So we'll open them up in new tabs. Simply go to download zip, save it to the desktop, close that window, code, download a zip, save it to the desktop, and we'll close that window and we're ready to install some libraries to Arduino IDE. There's a few ways of doing this, but the way I like to do it is just go to sketch, include library, add zip. And we'll just go right to desktop, do do. And then this guy, it's gonna process and install. I've already done this, but I'll overwrite it just for the sake of argument. That's one, include library, add zip, desktop, add library two, yes. There we go, we have our two libraries installed, super simple, super easy. Next step is we need to add this board. So um, we're gonna have to add these two lines. These are the uh, locations of the dev board files. Uh, so file preferences, I've already done this, but yeah, right here, you can click the little button. And yeah, I just pasted these in here right like that. Whoops, I already have, see, oh, there we go. Don't need that twice. Okay. And that's just going to add the board to Arduino ID so we can select the correct board. So right now, all we'll have to do is go to the boards manager and look for ESP32. And you're looking for the ESP32 by Expressive. Now, again, I already have that installed, but all you have to do is click install if you don't have it yet. Now that we have all the prerequisites, all we have to do is go to select other board and port. 
This is going to be ESP32 S2. Whoops, that's S2. And then we want the um, ESP32 S2 dev model. I'm connected on port 13, and I can just click OK. And we're ready to rock and roll. Close board manager. Here we go. Now, me and Arduino IDE do not have the best track record, so I'm crossing my fingers this works the first time. We're going to click the upload button. So when we click, click the upload button, it's going to start building the, spe the sketch, compiling right there. And then it's going to upload to the board, assuming everything works well. So again, fingers crossed. Two very boring minutes later. Oh, hell yeah, it worked first time. Although it throws an upload error, file uploading, upload error. And it says warning ESP32 S2 chip was placed into download mode using GPIO0. ESP tool, can't talk. ESP tool cannot exit download mode over USB. This is not a real error. Do not let this like scare you. This is perfectly fine. It's going to happen every single time. Don't worry, it's fine. But yeah, that's all we need to do. So we're ready to rock and roll. So let's play with this thing. So yeah, once we got that all set, we're ready to go. We can take the Wi-Fi board, yank that sucker out of here, take our flipper, jam that into there, bam. So, I mean, you know what a flipper with a, you know, Wi-Fi dev board plugged in looks like, but here we go. All right, so just for the sake of simplicity, I'll actually show you like this. It's a little awkward, but this will work just fine. Notice we have the blue light on right now. Th this blue light, not mine. I know I have a blue backlight, but we've got that like that. Let's see if I can get it to actually focus. Hello, friend. There we go. So I'm going to just press this and go to start. And let's see what happens. OK, cool. And the light turns green. The light turns green. You know we're working. So this is awesome. Everything's good to go. All right, back over to the desktop. And yeah, if we go over to our internet, we can click on Google free Wi-Fi. And as soon as we do that, do do do, it's gonna pop up this. And actually it's gonna look a lot better on mobile. It does look a little wacky on PC. It's not really for that, but we can enter in our information and click next. And it's really just going to sit here and loop. It doesn't do anything. But we can go and log in and see what we uh, what we grab now. So let's open up QFlipper. And yeah, let's see what's going on here. So this is still running. We can click back. And again, it's going to keep running until we tell it to stop. So we can click Stop Portal. Uh, OK. And we're just going to go to Save Logs. Click OK. Log Save. And now we should have our new credentials. So if we just go back. And then we're going to go into the SD card, the apps data, a evil portal logs. And here we go. We have some log files. Perfect. So let's close this, download this desktop, download this to the desktop, save. Now, one of these might be from when I was running it before, but we'll find out in just one second. Open this guy up and Google free Wi-Fi. Let's see. Do, do, do. Okay, yeah, this one's the old one. This doesn't show anything. And then we'll open log one. And here we go. That's my username and password that I used to log into that. So if I had used my actual information, this would have stolen it. It's so crazy. This is just another great example of what can happen when you log into an insecure Wi-Fi hotspot, thinking you're going to get free Wi-Fi. Obviously, you can change the name of the hotspot to make it more enticing for people or to make it blend in with the surroundings, depending upon where you're, where you're at. You can call it free Starbucks Wi-Fi. I mean, literally, the possibilities are endless. Now, this example just shows off uh, basically trying to steal Google credentials, but you could go so much further. You could make it look like, you know, you're trying to enter a credit card number and people will fall for these things. It's really crazy. But yeah, just another cool thing you can do on the Flipper Zero. Again, this is such a new project. I was super psyched to see this pop up and I thought it was a great topic for a video. If you happen to run into any brand new stuff or anything in general that you think is cool, leave a comment down below, hop into the Discord. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications. It helps me out a ton. I want to thank you so much for watching. Take it easy. We'll see you next time.